I got a little something finally that I have been talking about now for quite some time. My new lens has arrived and I am just wanting to like hook it up and then I just want to see the difference. I want us all to see the difference together. So yeah, we can really see what it is that money was spent on. what's up guys how you doing i'm back with another episode of the so so show let's fix this up a little bit this episode is actually something that i feel like i'm always talking about how something's not supposed to be something but i didn't plan on making another video i didn't plan on shooting more content until i was done releasing my december one that you have probably seen by now if you haven't check the link below and yeah you can get up to scratch with my latest vlogs however today i have just picked up um finally the lens the lens that i have been talking about for quite some time on my vlogs that i'll be getting so i just wanted to unbox i wanted to try it out i want us all to see what exactly money was spent on the difference this is the sony um 15 millimeter 1.4 aperture so um i don't know if you say 1.4 aperture but yeah the sony 15 millimeter 1.4 this is what i've got i got this for 600 pounds off of ebay yeah ebay or amazon i forgot i think it was ebay though um initially i was looking for one that was second hand but then i saw this one and it was actually close to the second hand prices and it was brand new so i thought yeah why not so i want to try it out together let's test it out and then see what kind of difference we got going on one thing's for sure is that i know that this is going to be a lot brighter than this camera it's going to work a lot better in low light settings and it's gonna have a much better sort of um depth of field so i'm gonna get that whole nice buttery background while i'm all up in the focus which is what i've been wanting ever since i got me a sony camera so yeah not to say that only sony cameras do this but yeah um my only sony camera which is this has the perfect capacity potential has the perfect potential to do this and yeah i just uh, have that anyway so unboxing yeah it's even a little bit smaller than the one that i have now i'm currently using um a, i'm currently using a 10 to 20 milliliter millimeter oh gosh okay i'm definitely gonna have to move because it looks like people are struggling oh yeah no i'm good i'm good i'm good let me um let me move a little bit because it is kind of getting a little bit orcs Alrighty, excuse the little hiccup in sh- oh. Alright, much better. Okay, so here's the lens and yeah, as you can see, I've also got, finally got a Sony lens with um, an aperture ring, which I really have missed um, in a camera lens. Um, because obviously the the 10 to 20 milliliter hasn't got that but yeah it's it's pretty snazzy check it out check it out yeah so here's how it's looking so be right back all right all right seems as though we've got it um is this the furthest yet yeah. okay okay cool this is the 15 millimeter uh capacity i can definitely make do with this it's great for vlogging um and i finally got my um i finally got my battery background of course it differs depending on your settings and your lighting and so on and so forth here is my last lens Ooh. 
well this is really all I wanted so um, I got it if you are looking for a lens that can give you a similar sort of depth of field you really don't even have to put in all that money into a lens the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 aperture also offers a very a very a very competitive image shall I say also offers a very much you know crisp clear it's got that same depth of field it's actually this lens's main competitor in fact that lens if I remember correctly it dropped first and Sony just had to release something that could compete with it so this is basically it and this is just the more refined version of it in terms of the size the fact that it's got an aperture ring you know stuff like that it's a G lens as well so it's always going to resell at a much higher value but the Sigma is literally some say like if it's not the same as this some say it's even better in certain areas so yeah defo watch more videos on that if you are doing your research on what lens suits you best um otherwise yeah the only thing about the sigma is that it's a little bit bigger in size i said earlier on that i thought that maybe this lens might be a little bit um smaller than this i wasn't aware it's actually a little bit longer but it's not as wide like physically wide as this so but anyway it's still very small and a lot smaller than the sigma 16 1.4 but anyway, this is going to offer the same aperture. Um, it's just a tinsy bit wider than the Sigma. Because of course, I think I think Sony had to go up in some kind of way. But other than that, it's basically the same quality lens at half the price. We're talking Sigma compared to this lens. But anyway, I just feel like I want to get this because I, I do like the idea of moving around without holding a bigger lens sometimes i do go the extra mile to try and shoot content in places that are less traditional like a clubbing setting or not necessarily the clubbing setting but anything where they're like where you wouldn't typically bring your camera um i'm only saying the clubbing because i did that very recently and that was the first place that i wouldn't have typically taken a camera but yeah i just did it because i want to make content and i'm new and i just want to kind of really show what's going on in my life so that's what I did and yeah so for reasons like that I did want to invest in a slightly more refined compact lens so that I'm not carrying around this camera with like a huge lens attached and blah 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 but in terms of quality it's pretty much all the same so you get what suits you and um, yeah that's about it I'm very happy with it I am happy with it I'm very happy with it <laughs> and um, this is another thing that I ordered as well yeah I got a battery and charger for my camera so that I can charge my camera on the go um, I no longer have to wait to plug it into or um, like a, a source a sort a, a wall source I don't really know but oh it's cute so this is my first look at it so it comes with two batteries and a portable charger so, oh the sun this might not be the best place to show you guys but I, I couldn't wait I had to see what the lens was given yeah so you all know what this looks like it's cool I've got two of these now including the one in the um, camera I've got three batteries now so very good going I'm all set with my camera stuff I really am if I even need to charge this on the go I also grabbed myself very recently power bank great stuff this has got amazing capacities since I bought it I haven't even recharged it yet but to be fair I haven't used it that much but I did think by now I would have to charge it again but anyway Anchor is a really good brand for um, power banks if you're looking for a good power bank to invest in then I'll recommend this brand let's take a look at what it looks like in here though voila and our wire in goes baby and in goes baby we are charging I don't know if you can see the two red lights but I think the the red lights definitely mean that they're probably dead or quite low and then you can wait and get back and then when they're green then you're good to get so yeah <sighs> It's about time. I've got everything I need finally and um, ready to start making content. <laughs> That's terrible. Don't even like, don't, don't look at me. Don't, don't 
follow my lead with that because honestly you don't need to have everything to start shooting content if you look at like my first video you'll see i was literally just shooting off my phone so start with what you have and along the way you're gonna get what you need believe me you're gonna get what you need but don't let that be the reason that you haven't started yet so i'm currently in um cantonment i am gonna drive back to east lagon i'm gonna get my lashes refilled i did want to fix my hair as well and then i'm gonna get back into editing some content so if you want to follow me then please do over in my next video otherwise yeah i'll see you when i see you i really should put this on the whole time <laughs> but yeah anyway Givenchy!